If you have a Roku stick, box, or TV, and you're not using the Roku app on your smartphone, you're doing it all wrong. I'm gonna show you how to use the four superpowers that you get from the Roku app on your iPhone or Android. Tech it before you wreck it, what's up geeks, I'm Kirk. Most apps for smart TV boxes or just a lot of devices in general are a waste of time. In this case, I feel like the Roku app is worth installing. There are some features in the Roku app, if you have a Roku device, that are killer features. So I'm gonna show you all four of the features that I think are killer features, must have superpowers that you'll get by installing the Roku app on your phone. And I'm telling you right now, superpower number four is the most unique and useful feature, so make sure you stick around for that one. Step one is installing and setting up the Roku app right here on your smartphone. It's the same for Android as it is for iPhone. I'll be using an Android. Now, if you already have this app set up on your phone, no problem, just skip ahead to the next chapter in this video. So the first thing you wanna do is search for Roku in the App Store. There's gonna be a bunch of different options. You wanna make sure you install the right one. It looks just like this. It says the Roku app, and it says official in parentheses. When you jump into the app itself, it should say Roku Incorporated as the company that created the app. So let's go ahead and tap install. Okay, the app is installed. You can see I've got the option to open the app. I'm gonna go ahead and open the app on my phone. Should look something like this. So it's gonna walk you through some of these initial steps. It says, welcome to the Roku mobile app. Again, if it doesn't look like this, then you might be using the wrong app. Make sure you install the right one. I'll hit continue. It's telling me some of the things you can do. Find, save, and watch your favorites. Control Roku devices. And of course, they'll keep you updated with uh, notifications. You can allow that if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then it's gonna ask you to sign into your Roku account. So if you already have a Roku account that you may have set up on your Roku device itself, use that account here on the mobile app as well. Okay, now that I'm signed in, you're gonna automatically see some of the things that are trending now, things that are on the Roku channel. This is the homepage for the Roku app. So now you're set up, ready to go. Now let me show you how to make sure that your Roku boxes or your Roku TV or sticks or what have you are on the same network. When you're in the app, you wanna jump to the tab that says devices on the bottom. And then you'll see which Roku devices are in your network. They don't necessarily have to be logged into the same account as this app, but they should be in this list here. And you can see in my case, I've got Roku Streaming Stick Plus. Now I wanna switch over on this screen to show you that Roku device. Here is the home screen of the Roku device right now. I'm gonna to tap to connect it and it immediately says connected. And you'll notice that nothing really changed on the Roku screen on my TV because it's connected, but it doesn't actually acknowledge that on the TV, which I think is kind of interesting because most smart TV boxes will at least acknowledge that you've now connected to that device. Let's start with superpower number one inside the Roku app, and that is the ability to load up apps directly from the Roku app. So if I go back to my home screen inside the app, you'll notice that it's got some trending shows right here. It's got some things that I've already started watching here. And then I have a new option. Now that the device is connected to my app, it says open on living room. Notice the green dot next to it. Now living room is the name of my Roku stick. Of course, whatever you named your Roku stick, that's what it's going to say right here. And this shows me all of my apps that I currently have loaded up on my Roku box. Now, for example, if I go back and I tap on the Live TV Guide app, it'll jump right into that app almost instantaneously. It's amazing how quick it is. And it loads that app on my TV, which I can then use my controller to actually control this and change the channels or find something that I wanna watch on here inside that app that I just loaded up from the Roku app itself. You'll also notice that the Roku app then jumps right into the remote control. And that leads me into superpower number two, which is the ability to use your phone, the Roku app on your phone, as a Roku remote control. Now you noticed it automatically jumped into that feature when I launched an app on the phone, but I wanna show you how to get to that if you're not launching an app. Go to the Roku app and you should have an option at the bottom that says remote. See that? It's right in the middle of the screen. If you tap that, that should take you to the remote. If for some reason you don't have that, I want you to go to the option that says devices and you should see your Roku devices inside that screen. In my case, I only have one loaded up, but it does say connected. And if I tap on that, it should also take me to the remote on my screen. And let me tell you, I've used a lot of remote apps for Google TV, for Apple TV. This is one of the best. 
best. Roku does a great job because it is super responsive. It works super well. I mean, I prefer the physical remote myself, but maybe this remote is lost or maybe it's broken or maybe you just wanna use your remote on your app as your remote, but you can jump around really easily. You've got all the same buttons that you have on your normal remote here. And I also like that it does have voice search built into the app. So if I'm sitting, you know, 10 feet away from my TV and I want to search for something on my TV, I can just tap that little microphone on the top of this app and it'll let me search with my voice. Here, I'll show you how it works. Gray's Anatomy. So in this case, it's going to search for the show Grey's Anatomy, which then pops up all those search results almost instantly on my Roku TV. And there you can see I've got Grey's Anatomy as well as other shows that might be similar to Grey's Anatomy. What a great way to quickly search using your phone. Same thing you can do on the remote, but again, a lot of people might prefer the phone. Superpower number three is discovering content. And I get it, a lot of people like to use the remote, go into Netflix and search for content, but a lot of times that's very specific to one app, right? You go in the Netflix app and you search Netflix content. You go in the Disney Plus app and you search Disney Plus content. The cool thing about the Roku app is that it's sort of streaming service agnostic and you can literally just kind of go through and browse things that are trending right now. So in this case, it's December, a lot of different Christmas movies are trending right now. And if I tap into one of these, for example, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, it's gonna show me some information about How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It'll show me the trailer if I want. It'll give me a breakdown of the actors who are in that movie, but it also tells me where I can stream this. So in this case, it says, hey, you can watch this on Peacock, or I can tap seven other ways to watch, and it shows me all the different services that offer this as a way to watch. In my case, I have YouTube TV, so I see that as an option for streaming. I will tap that option and take a look at this. Not only does it jump right into the YouTube TV app, App, but it actually jumps right into the channel where this show is currently playing. And there you can see how The Grinch Stole Christmas is now up on my TV using my Roku box by discovering the content on the Roku app. I love it. Okay, so this brings me to superpower number four in the Roku app, and this can be used from the remote control screen on the app. Since I'm already in this movie, I can do it right here. And you'll notice a little picture of headphones on the app. This is the coolest feature that I've never seen on other apps. Maybe other companies are offering this, but Roku certainly was one of the first. If you tap on this, it'll give you headphone mode. And essentially what it does is it now streams the audio into my phone instead of through the TV. So what does that mean? Well, that means if I'm watching the TV, it's still showing the show or movie on the TV, but it's streaming the audio to my phone. And therefore, if I'm using Bluetooth headphones on my phone, I can listen to the audio in my Bluetooth headphones through my phone, through the app, even though I'm still watching that TV show or that movie on the TV. This is a great way to use existing headphones and the Roku app to use wireless headphones from your TV if you're trying to watch something and your spouse doesn't want to hear it, or maybe you're just trying to watch something and you don't want it super loud, but you still want to be able to hear what the actors and actresses are saying. I know a lot of people prefer to use headphones instead of listening to the speakers on their TV. That for me is easily the best superpower that you'll get from the Roku app. I hope those were useful. I think those are superpowers that you get in the Roku app that are worth installing the Roku app for. A lot of third-party apps that come with devices are, are a waste. In this case, especially superpower number four, that remote listening feature, you can't do it without the app. And I think it's well worth it to install the app on your phone, whether you have an iPhone or an Android. And I think personally, I'd find myself using that a lot. Comment below, let me know if you found this useful. Hopefully these are tips and tricks on the Roku app that you'll be able to utilize in your home. And do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. It helps me grow. I've got a lot more cool tips and tricks for your tech devices as well as unboxings and device reviews coming here on the channel tech it before you wreck it i'm kirk